Hello and welcome to another video of Calc Nerd. So today I'm going to be showing off the classic game of Pong on a graphing calculator. So I made most of this program, but the uh, ball movement part when the ball bounces across the screen and stuff, I did not actually make. I'll have a link in the description to TI Basic Developer once again, and I'll have it to the Pong thing directly, but feel free to check out the rest of the entirety of that website because it's pretty cool. So now let's get right into playing the game. So first off I'm going to show you it. So I called it Pong 2. You can call it Pong whatever you want. I don't really care. You can call it whatever you'd feel like. So and I'm really bad just so you know. So it says score and how many times the ball hits the paddle that's your score. And it'll say game over and then done also. So I could have just hit enter there. I don't know why I didn't. But anyway, so I'm going to play it just a little bit so you can see that it actually works. Oh, I need to go up one more than that. Um, if you saw the ball was right next to the paddle, it's because the ball will go up one more because it's right here. It looks like it glitched, but it actually didn't. Because the ball was in the second column, it wants to go up one more, and the paddle was here, so it would have missed anyways. So, now we're going to show you how you can make this for yourself. So, first off, clear home. 4 store into Y, 0 store into I. You can, yeah. Um, I is the variable for the score, in case you're wondering. So, if you don't want to do the score part of it, I kind of think it's kind of cool, so you don't have to keep track, and you can just play. Um, if you want, don't want the score part of it, you can get rid of anything that has I in it. If you want it, just keep it, just like I have it. And if you want to do some testing with the program, um, just to make sure you know that the ball and the paddle are working, you can uh, take out this random integer 1, 8, store into A part, and you can just do like four store into eight, and then you'll just know where the ball comes so you can have the paddle right there and test it out to make sure it works. Anyway, moving on here. So one store into T, colon, one store into M. The colon is alpha and period. I repeat, X until X is equal to one and Y is not equal to A. So it's saying until, repeat this whole thing below it until the x, so the position on the screen this way, is equal to 1, so that'd be this row here, and the position of the paddle is not equal to the y position of the ball. And to get like the equal sign and stuff, it's second math or test, and it's right there, equal to, not equal to, greater than, stuff like that. And if you want to go over, click that, and and or, and or, or, not stuff like that so now we clear home output y comma one comma quote the paddle so remember to get the uh, little bracket there it's second right there and if you want i suppose you could use a parenthesis or hit second parenthesis which will give you that guy right there remember anything in uh, like the teal color or whatever you want to call this it's kind of green actually um anything in green i'll call it Click this button and then click anything like if I wanted in, I don't know, A, then I click that button after clicking this. And anything in yellow, you click the second button. Anyway, now um, this is a piecewise expression here. So it's saying Y plus the down arrow, which is K, or 34 I mean, K is get key. So Y plus if k is equal to the down arrow, minus k is equal to the up arrow, store into y. So if this is not, if like the up arrow was pressed, I'll show, I'll give that example. So the down arrow was not pressed because the up arrow was pressed, so that becomes zero. So y plus zero minus, since the down or up arrow key, this is up, was pressed, that means this is a one. So y plus zero minus one, store into y. So y minus one would store into y making it go up. I believe you can put um, nin one, max one, or max eight, sorry, 
and in front of that if you're low on bites i just didn't because i don't know anyway yeah and that that's the stuff that keeps it on the screen is what that is then oops i should probably so that's what keeps it on the screen i just said that but i didn't want to go too fast through that so you can pause the video if you have to to uh write out the program if you're actually going to play it then this is the part that for the ball to be on the screen so you can pause the video right now if you want to look at this further because i'm not going to just sit here for a long time but i obviously have sat long enough but so you can pause the video here anyway so the equal to remember it's second math or test because you clicked the yellow key then this is the other score part so if you don't want the score part of the program you can uh, just skip that part right there so now end clear home i'll put three comma one comma game over and you must have the quote if you want to know where to get the exclamation point you just click the math button you go over uh, to the left which will give you probability and you go to four, which is the exclamation point, or you can go, if you don't know where to find anything also, second, zero, which is catalog. And this is a whole list of everything in the entire calculator. I just went all the way to the bottom and uh, it's automatically on letters. So if I want something, I don't know, down in the O's, I just click there and it would have all the stuff that is in the O's, which is apparently two things. So I'm just going to get out of that now. So display score now, display I, and return. And that is all there is to playing Pong on your graphing calculator. I hope you enjoy this video. If you uh, have any problems with this, please leave it down in the uh, um, comments below. Also, I hope you enjoy this video. I hope you uh, share and subscribe. And I hope you have fun playing Pong. So... Thank you and goodbye.